Hello, my name is Rafael Ribas and my PhD candidate at the University of Illinois. My research is focused on entrepreneurship, corporate management, labor market policies, and the development of econometric methods. In my job market paper in particular, I exploit a liquidity shock caused by a welfare program in Brazil to investigate the role of both credit constraints and informal financial arrangements in explaining small entrepreneurial activity. In theory, if limited access to credit is one reason why capable individuals don't become entrepreneurs, then this welfare transfer may change their occupational choice by increasing the individual savings. On the other hand, if problem participants are involved in informal financial arrangements, this, liquid, this liquidity shock might generate spillovers which affect everybody else's decision to be entrepreneur. And the reason is, rather than saving or spending this transfer, the recipient might use it to invest in another household's business. So, in addition to estimating the overall impact of this problem on entrepreneurship, the critical distinction of my study from the literature is the separation between direct and indirect effect in this type of intervention. <coughs> in my empirical strategy, both of these effects are identified due to exogenous variation in program growth across urban areas in Brazil, but because of individual selection issues, this decomposition is made using a two-step procedure. First, I estimate the indirect effect and the, the selection bias based on verified assumptions. Then, I estimate the direct effect adjusting for this predicted bias. My results suggest that the rate of small entrepreneurs in Brazil has grown 10% because of this offer program, but this growth was not driven by the direct effect on individual funds. The direct effect is actually negative and suggests that program participants tend to look for low-paid jobs to remain eligible for the transfer. On the other hand, the local liquidity shock caused by this program increased the amount of private transfers among poor households, which is associated with the creation of small businesses. Therefore, Small entrepreneur activity seems to be more responsive to the cost of risk sharing in informal financial arrangements than to individual credit constraints. If you want to know a little bit more about my research, please visit my website and thank you very much for watching.